Hello! We're going to look today at my mum's ethnicity results from Ancestry and other places too because there are slightly different results from different places. Now I've said what it is to you but you haven't really looked in depth at it. Now Ancestry, first of all, I'll put up some little um, slides of this stuff here. But Ancestry here, it's, it's quite basic and it says, even though it said for me and my dad, it said like 98% European, it says 100% for you when you look at it, but you look at it in depth and you see there. So it says Great Britain 59, but you open it up and it says between 23 and 89% actually, it depends because they do, I think it's 49 different tests and they're, or maybe 44, lots anyway. Okay, so then Europe West, it's between 0 and 46, so it guesses at 19%. So that's uh, France and Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein, Ireland. Now that's actually more Celtic DNA. It says Ireland. I've done a lot of family research. I haven't really found very, there's maybe one or two Irish people, but probably not enough to get into the gene pool because that, that is actually mostly just Celtic. So that's um, Scotland. I found Scottish. Irish. No. Uh, Welsh, yes, lots of Welsh, and also like Cornish and north of France in the sort of uh, this sort of area. It's uh, yeah, so the very north of France. Let's see that. Scandinavia. Are you gonna react to any of this? Scandinavia. Scandinavia. <laughs> you are just sitting there very quietly. It's between. I'm taking it all in. Okay, zero and seventeen percent. So it's it guesses at six percent. It could be up to seventeen percent. Norse. Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Nice, yeah. See, Iberian Peninsula. You like Spain, don't you? I like Spain. Mm. Yeah, that's because you've got up to 7% Iberian Peninsula in you. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that's all it says up front, but then you actually delve into the other regions testing. Europe East, up to 2%. It guesses at 0%, but it's up to 2%, actually, they found. European Jewish, again, up to 2%. Now this is, uh, I, I also got up to 2% and it didn't show in my main one. It didn't show in our, any of our main ones, like Dad's either, but we all got up to 2%. Now, I got, and Dad got, some Italian and Greece in the regions. He got it in the main one, I got it in the, you know, other regions tested that I got some. You got none. So you're not Italian or Greek. So, but, Go we've got a tiny little bit, less than 1%, a tiny little bit of Finland or Northwest Russia. Oh, Dad and I have got a lot more than you. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Now it goes, oh, no, Native American. Oh, because I got up to 1%. And Dad got, like, up to 1%. Oh, I got 1%. Not, not point. Yeah, anyway, I got up to 1%. And he got just under 1%. But he got in other regions tested. And I got in my main trace elements. So I thought that Mum was going to have it in her main. But no, she's got it in other regions tested. But she's up to 1% there. So she has actually got more Native American tested but he didn't, didn't think it was significant enough to tell you up front. You have to delve into it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're very quiet. Un what characteristically so. <laughs> now, Pacific Island. Pacific Island is, isn't unusual. Because Dad got um, other regions tested. He got Melanesia. And he also got Polynesian up to 1%. And I got Melanesian up to 1%. And other regions tested Polynesian. So have you got any Polynesian? No. No Polynesian. No Polynesian. But you have got up to 1% Melanesian. Oh. Nearly under 1%, but you've got some Melanesia, mm -hmm. which is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And then I, this is the unusual thing, because, I mean, you haven't got Middle East. None of us have got Middle East. But the Caucasus, I got, um, it said 1%, but it was up to 7% with me. And it's not in mum's main thing. So I click on it, and it says up to 2%. So that's still less than me. It didn't show up. So I've got up to 7%. So there's something a bit odd going on with Ancestry. Ancestry, I'm not sure about, because there's a lot of people, you get matches. And a lot of the people I was showing up when I just had me and Dad, there were, you know, there was more DNA shared with me and the person than with Dad. So I thought, oh, well, Mum must share a common ancestor. So I've got Mum's done, and it turns out there are a lot of people that have got common ancestors that you both, you know, different people maybe, that I've inherited all of that. But there are quite a few people where I've got twice as much DNA shared with them as Mum, and nothing with Dad. No, they don't show you under 6%. Hello, Dad. They don't show you under 6% with the... Uh, my dad's looking around here. 
they don't show you under six percent on ancestry but it's like more than 11 cms and uh, not six percent cms uh, uh centimorgans that's how they me measure them so there's something a little bit strange going on and i tried to ask ancestry and they, i wasn't really satisfied with their answer they said oh la 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 we strip away stuff because of our algorithm and and various different things and i didn't I think 11 cm's is quite a lot. Uh, there's, I mean, there's studies that say that under, under six, you know, it can be a false positive, but up to 11, that's a bit weird. So that's ancestry, right? Now here's where it's, I thought I'd upload it other places. So this is where it gets slightly more exciting. Mm -hmm. So I thought you've got Native American. Let's see how you've got Native American. So I uploaded it to my heritage. Yeah, you see. So you've got. Northwest Europe, 98%. So you've got 98% just general English. Because they haven't broken it down anymore. 98% English. All right. But then you've got 1% Ashkenazi Jewish there. And South America, 1% indig indigenous Amazonian. <gasps> how come? I don't know how come. I, I'm <laughs> still trying to work that out. But I have looked into the, into the ancestry. And it's actually, it's a bit odd that I think on both sides of the family... There seems to be people that went to early colonial America, and oh. and there were a lot of Native Americans there. That pale happens. Uh, that I I found somebody that wasn't directly related that actually married Pocahontas. Ooh. But she's not directly. As far as I can tell, she's not a direct relative. But there are obviously other people that weren't Pocahontas. She's not the only Native American in the village. A lot of them came back. Nasty things happened to a lot of people. They went, this isn't the religious freedom I was led to believe it would be, and they came back home. British DNA is, uh, I think, a lot more complicated than we think it is, because there's, uh, and, and everyone, like, American people were saying, how have you got Native American? And my family's been in, in America for 300 years, and we've got no Native American. How have you got it? And it's because people did go over there, but they came back again. And also, Native Americans travelled to Britain for various things. There's um, Wild West shows. It's too too late to be involved with that. We, we're nothing to do with the Wild West shows. It was before that. But Native Americans did come to Britain. I mean, and Africans came to Britain for various reasons. It's not just slavery. But we've also got a little bit, if you delve into it deeper, we have got a little bit of African DNA, but it seems to be mostly on Dad's side. But it's not that you haven't got it. Because I uploaded it to, to Jed Match. And so we look at this. 23B, I think it's MDLP uh, K23B. That's one particular thing. So you look at that, and you've got Amerindian Ancestral Altaic, which is like um, be before that. You've got a bit of South Central Asian. Oh, you had a bit of South Asian in in the um, in the ancestry up to two percent as well, but I didn't mention that. Caucasus, the, that shows up more, eighteen percent there. That's a big green one. The big green one is European hunter-gatherers, because it's European hunter-gatherers, because it's looking at very far back in history. And the, the Mulvey one, European again. European early farmers. So you've got a lot of European. You've got uh, the Caucasus there. You've got South Central Asian. There's a bit there. And you've got various different things there. And you've got Milano Pol Polynesian, 0.69%. So that's a tiny bit, only 0.14% of archaic African. Got 0.89 percent of North African there in that particular one, an Australoid, which is um, the um, Aboriginal people. That sort of thing. You've got 0.88 percent, so that's that's a fair amount, really. So there's probably Australians that went and came back with um, new wives or husbands. Um, so you can put it a DNA land. So again, look, you've got 96 percent Northwest European, 1.8 percent Southwestern European. 1.1% ambiguous Northeast European and 1.1% Amazonian again. Ah, Amazonian. Yeah, so, I, so you're an Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> you're an Amazon. An um, Amazon. Okay, so this, uh, so there's Eurogenes again on GEDmatch. That one wasn't GED. DNA lens is a separate thing, but GEDmatch again. K13, which um, people say if you want to look at to see whether you're a European and you've got Native American, you just upload it to this particular one. K13 Eurogenes. Amerindian, 1.84%, and it's giving you 0.68% Oceanic. Now, see, you have, don't have any African on this one at all. Whereas, um, Dad did and I did too. So, African's not showing up in all of them. But when you delve deeper, a little bit is showing up. Um, here is just, just North Amerind, 1.16. 
and then you've got Mesoamerica, 0.34. So you add that out on. So you might have more than one Native American. The thing yeah. is, it just shows that mm -hmm. if I'm sort of typical, yeah, how mixed up and this this rubbish about British being British. Mm -hmm. We, we and very few of us are actually British. Not when you start looking at it. No. I mean, there might be some people that are like 100% English. They but they're very rare. And I would think that there's probably some sort of mutant. They're probably a bit mutated. <laughs> because you look back in time, a thousand years ago, there were at most one to two million people a thousand years ago in Britain. So if you've been in Britain and nobody else, no other relatives except British people, then that's a fairly small gene pool. That's a tiny, tiny gene pool. If you have actually, if every single one of your ancestors was in Britain a thousand years ago, I, I really dread to think what you've come out as. You're probably an octopus. Maybe octopus is good. I'm not saying it's bad to be an octopus. It's just, it's a bit. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that I, yeah. I, I'm a mixture of people because. Yeah. Was it the song? The world is just, just a great big onion. Onion. <laughs> the great is an onion, yeah. The world is an onion. It's got layers of skin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so R0 is a maternal ancestral source, originated 66,000 years ago. That's Central South Asia sort of area. And it's fairly rare in Britain, apparently. And you've got 2.6.85% very far back. I think people have got between one, one and six percent, but six percent is very high, generally. So I translate this here. Hang on. Which is which is the rare one, the ne ne <laughs> Neanderthal, <coughs> or the other one? Which is the other one? Denisovians. Is that what you're talking about? See this one. See it shows that you've got eleven point five two percent British. Mm -hmm. This same we gene. If you go into it in depth, and it says you've got two point Two eight percent South Asian, Cindy. So that's all the bits that aren't European. It's sort of conglomerated. Is that the right word? It's sort of added it all together and decided that you're from India. Well, it showed up Native American for me on this side. So I don't know how accurate that is, but I think if you get Native American across the board in everything, and we have, even though it's like not shown up, apart from this one, it has everywhere. For really all three of us in various different proportions, so that's interesting, I think. Yeah, so what you, you've been so quiet. My mother's usually not this quiet. Are you just fascinated by all this? I am fascinated by it. Absolutely. An information <laughs> overload. <laughs> no, I think it's extremely interesting because mm -hmm. I, your, your father and I were always mm -hmm. convinced German Jewish. Yeah, that's that. Well, that's not weird, to say that you don't, weird. but it's not recent. But we always. I would say there must be something, something. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, we just, because of the last names, I mean, he's got Jacob and you've got Mayers, and we just assume that it must be. But there's, I can't trace the Mayers and I can't trace the Jacob. And no, it might turn, it turns out that the Jacob, <coughs> there's definitely, it was from his mother's side. The Jacob is, is I think he's, his actual surname is Spice. And I, I think I've done the sort of family history and, and found stuff, and I think his name is Spice. It's not, his, I mean, his mother's side is Jacob. So, and also, Gran Harris said that she, her Jewish relatives came to visit when she was young. Oh, yeah. And they oh, lived in London. And yeah. I can't find who these people are. No. I don't know what's happening here. But there's also a, a, the thing about Phillips the Brewery and that they're related to them, and that she was dressed up to go and visit some relatives. So, there's a lot of relatives that I'm still not entirely sure about here. No. Um, but on the mayor side, I can't really because I think they changed their name from M A Y E R S when by the time your father was born to Mayers or Myers or Mayers, and there's like there's Mayers spelt the way that you do in Barbados. Oh yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of apparently the <coughs> the telephone book is is uh, full, full of, of Mayers. Yeah, but where they came from, yeah, I have no idea. So it's very possible. That because we can't trace them, that you are related to like the, the mayors from there, and that might be where some some of the Native American comes to from as well. I don't know because you know, and the Melanesia because if they got um, slaves from different bases and brought them to their plantations, and the reason we can't find any and and <coughs> got their name is because one of the slaves was freed or escaped or. 
was the son of, or who knows? This is all speculation, but we can't find it. No. So who knows what's going on with that? Yeah. Yeah, but we're clearly not of the big family with the big house. We, we're not from the big house because we'd have the big money from the exploitation of people. Well, we I don't. Well, apparently my cousin had heard mm -hmm. that there was a plantation on Barbados. There's a lot of plantations. Made that, plantations. Uh, that was not making, ours, um, um, what was it? Captain Morgan? No, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, rum. That no. he knew, yeah, he knew. That's right. It was a rum Sugar plantation, yeah. and and he that they knew Captain Morgan Captain was got Morgan. to to the house. But yeah. we haven't been able no, to find out. No, but exactly one of his co-pirates was called Morris, John Morris, and you've got John Morris again. Oh yeah. Again, because he was illegitimate, and that's how I'm tracing the family back to. Now, I was like, yeah, because I've got this particular person. His family had gone to Virginia and then come back, came back to Brecon. And he, and there's an illegitimate birth recorded in the, in the actual censuses. So if it was not in the censuses, in the, in the, the uh, baptism record. And that's my great Yeah, so great his grandfather. mother, yeah, exactly. So his mother was a Morris and he named, she named him John Morris, which might be like, hey, we've got families. Because I know a lot of your relatives are called John Morris, oh, yeah. John Morris Mays or whatever. Yeah. They, they kept the Morris. So why were they keeping the Morris? Maybe it was because in memory of the pirate that had <laughs> been on the mother's side. But his father was actually a Price who also, and it's in the records, who also went by Rhys Jones. So he's William Rhys Jones Price. And like, I found him in other people's records and it's got Rhys Jones as if he's going around impregnating hapless maidens so you've probably got a lot of people related to this but then you've got like a lot of people that are related to his family in in the colonies a lot of people so that's the i mean i might have done it all wrong but there's so many people related to these people and related to you that i think i didn't get it wrong because that's where he was and he seems to be the the most likely father so who can say? So where anyone comes from is a bit of a mystery because even if your parents were legitimately married, it doesn't mean that your father was who your father, oh, your father. was. So it could have been anything really. Oh wow. Well. Watch this space. Watch this space. <laughs> Pointing is rude. Okay, well that's Watch quite a lot of long video. My mother's been uncharacteristically quiet because we had a bit of an argument earlier. We won't go into that. No, we won an argument. It was a Disagreement. Not even a disagreement. Um, I wouldn't like to say what it was called, but it's all good now. Ow! And I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> You've got a strong grip. <laughs> That's the Amazonian in me. <laughs> anyway, all good now. And I'm going back to London today. So and I'm I won't sad. See you for all. I'm sad about that. Okay. Dad and I are sad. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, it's over the internet. There is. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.